what we are saying is, God, I, I hope you don't tarry. I hope you don't take your time. What is mine is mine. I need you to give it to me. But what we got to understand in our own disobedience, in the way we should go, we cause us to hold our own blessings back because we chose to listen to our own mind and our own heart instead of listening to that of the Holy Ghost telling us we have made a mistake in going and following an individual or someone into a circumstance. They may be on your emotions. A lot of times people have taken me to church and I be on my emotions. I was on my emotions when I went into my middle faith when Elder Hinton at the time was the pastor, but I was faithful there. I was on my emotions and my own personal intellect when I wandered into places looking for discipline to get myself together to be the woman of God God wanted me to be. So I ended up with other challenges that was not of God. I was on my own thing. When I told somebody I wanted to do my book and it be done and one blah blah. That didn't happen, so I ended up with the preachers that I ran into a prophet that told me if you tell them anything you want to do, you won't have none. They were going through a bit of something and, and, and that spirit of transformation transferred on to me. So it was a false prophet that came. And I met another false prophet that came and said that which you have lost, it'd be hard to get back. Oh, but it ain't okay on my heart. But, and when I showed up again, that false prophet tried to, he tried to take the blessings from me and transfer it over to these women in the church that I had come to, okay? He didn't want my so, 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 God knows sad. So many false prophets, as God says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abide, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So Ecclesiastics and Matthew 24 and the, and, and the role of the prophet in Jeremiah and looking at Psalms 91 and looking at Psalms 120 about dece deception covers us in teaching to let us know that if none of this stuff has taken over, then we're dealing with false prophets. Anytime someone tells you the devil had a conversation with them, the devil know his people. The devil was always talking. He talked more than that. Always talking. It ain't never tell me ain't done. Sometimes you stop listening to me like that. You know. He don't never stop talking. They keep on going. Like Radio San Juan. The lady told me about Radio San Juan. You have to turn it off. And sometimes you learn to turn off. But he's always. You sleep. You wake up. All the time. Okay? Such as these preachers. Always talk. Always talk. Then I look in the world and find out where they stand. Okay? So let's go back into a time and a season for everything. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> 42. Watch therefore ye shall not 
what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house know in what watch for the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. And when I'm on my emotions, I wasn't taught what to watch for as a child about these different entities because you got to understand with these evangelical non-denominational churches, different traditions and stuff, a lot of them want to be the Roman Catholic Church. We, we even have Kenneth Copeland wanting to join with the Roman Catholic Church. Why does he want to? Let me tell you why he wants to. Most of the churches that are set up are based on the Roman Catholic Catholicism. According to American standpoint, but the Roman Rite, R-I-T-E, those organizations and, and belief systems have not been invaded by Roman R-I-T-E. Understand? They weren't invaded. Their country weren't invaded. Because why? They're over here in the U.S. Okay? So, Roman R-I-T-E, with the American Roman Catholic Church, has changed they're separate from the American Catholic Church Roman Catholic Church from the Roman R-I-T-E it is a big difference the difference is on this side the American folk want the Roman R-I-T-E to cater to their indulgences their whims the things that they want but the Roman R-I-T-E is saying, no, 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 no. Now the Pope has done a couple of things and they tell the Pope privately, no, 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 no. Because that's against God. Don't go against God. We got problem. Yes. They were dealing with the Nicolaitan thing with Deacon Nicholas. So, Vatican II Council, they came in and got rid of everything that they could with Nicholas. Why? Because if you look in Revelations, chapter 2 and chapter 3, you'll find out why. You understand? So, there's a time and a season for everything. And the season for the Roman Catholic Church has not really come yet in America. The Roman Catholic Church in America. Now, in the Roman R.I.T.E., St. Augustine considers the women priests. <gasps> you have the Holy Reverend Mother. <gasps> so, what I'm saying to you is, do not neglect whom you follow. And there's another saying that Kreplow says, how can we neglect so great a salvation? That's another scripture. But that's down in the New Testament. Okay. And what we need to do is understand that we have neglected so great a salvation. Check this out. We're going to talk about the same as the Holy Ghost too. This is here. That's why I was reading, really reading. So we're going to go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Check it out. Wherefore, brethren, my beloved, be steadfast, established, and abound in prayer. Watch ye always with all diligence. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but not much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. My favorite part. For it is 13. For it is good which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Do all these things without murmuring and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of the crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. 
Now we can use Prophet Jeremiah, the one that wanted to save himself on time. Nobody wants to die, so <laughs> Jeremiah sought to save himself on a regular basis. And we need to understand this because the Word of God is who it is. Okay? Now I'm going to read something. At a, I don't really know Paula A. Price, uh, uh, Dr. Paula A. Price, but this is a book I inherit. I inherited from my sister. I'm gonna read Seasons. Biblically, it refers to an appointed time in God. Any prophet established in God understands the importance of His times and seasons embedded on creation's calendar of events. Its meaning ranged from a long awaited time finally appearing to the manifestation of a prophetic word or divine miracle manifestation in its time. Prophecy generally instigates timing in its utterance or the now time of God. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Season, tested, refined, made fit for use, and Reliable. That is the prophet Jeremiah. And that's how we should be. At one time in my life in the church, I was very reliable. Got into relationships and got into some, some, some disbeliefs and some misteachings and became unreliable. Non-refined in my approach unto the will of God. Do you understand it? Okay, let's go and read the next one. Confession is good, okay? Now, let's go to 49 in Matthew. And it shall begin to smock the fellow service and to eat and drink with the drunkard. The Lord that serves the, the Lord of that servant shall come in the day when he looks up not for him and in the hour that he is not aware of. 51. And he shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion. And the hypocrites there shall be weeping and gushing of tears. Okay. That's really interesting. Because the sin against the Holy Ghost, if you sin against the Holy Ghost, it's not forgiven. But in looking in this Bible, it was always in 24. In my other Bible. to do here is call this an error on my part. It's an error on my part. Because I'm saying 24, it can be 42, but let me, let me see something. No, it was 24. It was 24. And it's taken out of here because I don't see it in here. And this is a, a Nelson King James Version. But if you sin against the Holy Ghost, it is a sin. Right out of sin. But it was taken out of here, out of this particular one that I have. I'll be right back. You know, no. Let me just say this. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for who you are. I thank you a good God that you never um, cause us to have a problem. And there's always a time and a season for everything. 
But know this, that scripture is missing out of here, out of this particular one. And that's a sin. But remember, the first part of this year it was the Holy Ghost is the finisher and the author of our faith, and that should reign. And He knows that we're sealed into the day of redemption. And that is when, in 24, we talk about Christ here coming back. And we, well, we will be up for a while here. Talk about Christ coming back in chapter 24. That is the day. And we're gathered that the Holy Ghost should release us to the Spirit of Jesus if we are here. Amen. Father God, I thank you. I don't want to be a false prophet. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. He because we all know that God belongs in glory. And we know that Christ is in glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, if anyone wants to give their life to God, they can at this time in the name of Jesus. They can. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whomsoever believe on Him should never perish or hunger, but have everlasting life. Okay, that means do the Word of God. Okay, do the Word of God. If you need some food, you buy a food pantry and need food, go there with proof of where you live and let them give you some food. If it's on that day, you know, and if you have a kind neighbor, your neighbor may be kind to feed you. But don't abuse it, okay? Remember, they have to eat too. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.